All right, so in this equation, I'm gonna be solving nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to start, my variable in this equation is x, which is what I'm gonna be solving for. And we can already tell that x is not gonna be a whole number because nine to the power of one is nine and nine to the power of two is 81. So we know that x is gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So we wanna find the exact value of x. So to do that, what I'm first gonna do is take the log on both sides. So I get log nine to the power of x is equal to log 36. And the reason I used logarithms for this is because they have a special property that states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. So before, x was an exponent, and it was really, it's almost impossible to solve the equation just in the form x is. But now, we can move x to the front and make it equal to a whole number, and now it's much easier to solve for x. So now I get x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And now, obviously, we want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 9. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, we aren't done yet because we want to find the exact value of x. So we don't want any logarithms in our solution. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite log of 36 as log of 9 times 4 because I just want to simplify log 36. And now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 9 times 4. And we can say that a is 9 and b is 4. So this turns into log of a, which is 9, plus log of b, which is 4. And remember, I still have all of this over log 9. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c, and this is just using fraction properties. So I have log 9 plus log 4 over log 9, and I'm going to rewrite this as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, anything over itself equals 1. So log 9 and log 9 cancel out. And I get 1 plus log 4 over log 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify this by rewriting log 4 as log of 2 squared because 4 is equal to 2 squared. And I'm going to do the same thing to log 9. I'm going to rewrite it as log of 3 squared. So now remember that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a because I can move b to the front. So I'm going to be reusing this property on these two terms. So log 2 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. And same with log 3 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 
over 2 times log 3. And now I can cancel out these 2's. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. So now from here, log of 2 is equal to 0 0.3010, and log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, meaning x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771, which is equal to 0 0.6309. So 1 plus 0 0.6309 is 1.6309. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving a system of equations. So in my system of equations, I have two equations. My first is AB plus A is equal to 32. So this is gonna be my first equation. And my second equation is gonna be AB plus B is equal to 35. So to solve the system of equations, I have to find the value of a and b. So to start out, what I'm going to do is subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So equation 1 minus equation 2. Equation 1 is a plus ab plus a equals 32. So I have AB plus A minus AB plus B is equal to 32 minus 35. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is distribute the negative sign. So now I get AB plus A minus AB minus B is equal to 32 minus 5 which is equal to negative 3. Now I can cancel out AB and negative AB, so I'm left with A minus B is equal to negative 3. And this means that A is equal to B minus 3. So now what I can do is substitute this value of A into equation number 2. So equation number two is AB plus B equals 35, right? Well, now that I've got a value of A in correlation to the value of B, I can plug this in. So now I get B minus three times B plus B is equal to 35. And now my only variable in this equation is B. So we can solve this. What I'm first going to do is distribute the b. b times b is b squared, and b times negative 3 is negative 3b. And now I have this plus b, which is equal to 35. And negative 3b plus b is equal to negative 2b. And if I subtract 35 on both sides, I get b squared minus 2b minus 35 is equal to 0. Now from here, What I'm going to do is actually add this back because we did miss a step. So b squared minus 2b is equal to 35 once again. Actually, before doing that, what I'm going to do is add 1 on both sides. So now I have b squared minus 2b plus 1 is equal to 36. And now the reason I did that <coughs> is because b squared minus 2b plus 1 is the same thing as b minus 1 squared. And now I can take the square root on both sides because the square root of 36 is a whole number. And now I get b minus 1 is equal to positive or negative 6. So this gives me two equations. I get b minus 1 is equal to positive 6, and b minus 1 is equal to negative 6. So for b minus 1 equals positive 6, I can just add 1 on both sides, and I get b equals 7. 
And so b minus 1 equals negative 6. I can again add 1 on both sides. And I get b equals negative 5. So now from here, I have to plug this back in to this equation right here, a b plus b equals 35. So if b equals 7, I get 7a plus 7 is equal to 35, meaning 7a is equal to 28, and a equals 4. So if a equals 4, then b equals 7. This is one solution to my system equations. And now if b equals negative 5, I get negative 5a minus 5 is equal to 35, meaning negative 5a is equal to 40, and a equals negative 8. So if b equals negative 5, then a equals negative 8. So these are my two solutions.